Herbs in Action, reflections and stories from the Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens Botany in Action Fellows, discussing herbs from around the world. Hi, my name is Lydia Sleufer. I am a PhD student at the University of Florida, and I am studying the distribution of epiphytes and their traits across an elevation gradient in Panama. And the herb I would like to talk about today is an epiphyte called resurrection fern. The scientific name is Pleopeltis polypodioides, and it's a small fern that lives on branches of trees. And it's really fascinating because it can lose up to 97% of its water and go into a dormant state when it's dry out. And then when it rains, it absorbs water through little hairs on its leaf and unfurls again and becomes completely green. The fronds can be up to four inches long, maybe? So it grows relatively flat, but sometimes you'll see it grows up a little bit if it lays pretty flat on the branches. And then when it's dry, it's brown and it curls up and it looks dead. And then when it rains, it just unfurls and the branches, well in Florida, the branches will be covered with it. You can find them anywhere from the southeast U.S. through Central America and northern South America. So resurrection ferns generally grow at low to mid elevations on all sorts of different trees. I've seen them up to about 40 meters high in a tree at my field site, but I also see them back in Florida where I live. When I moved to Florida, I saw it all over the place and I knew what it was there. And then when I went to Panama for my first field season, I was doing epiphyte surveys and climbing a tree and we found this fern in a tree and I started talking to my field assistant. I was like, do you know what this is? And then all of a sudden I realized it was the same fern that I see back home, which was, it was cool to see what I see in Florida, also at my field site in Panama. Herbs in Action is a collaboration between Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens and the Saturday Light Brigade and is made possible by the Mary Jane Berger Memorial Foundation, dedicated to educating the community about the many benefits and uses of herbs. To hear this feature again or to learn more about herbs from around the world, visit mjburgerfoundation.org.